Hi, I'm Kat. And I'm Chris. And together we are reviewing Sunscape Curacao. This is the Members Lounge. I've been a few of these. Not super comfy, but you know, it exists. Here is uh, the little bits of food they have on offer and drinks, it looks like. Now this is a four star resort, but it's not that simple because not everything here is for stars. No, it's not. No. Um, I can name a few things that are fall less than two stars. And I can name a few things that are actually above, okay, I can name one thing that is above four stars. But let's start with some, okay, he's, he's above four stars. But he's not gonna be here for your whole trip, so let's focus on what will be here. One of the first things that you're gonna notice when you get here is gonna be your room. So we'll start there. All right, so our room has a fairly comfortable bed. Would you say so? It's big bed. So big you can't even get a fitted sheet for it. <laughs> true, true. Um, and the headboard is not falling apart, which if you have seen my other videos, you know that's a pet peeve of mine. We've got a, a fairly decent couch over here. It's a comfortable couch. It's a comfortable couch, yeah. Uh, our balcony is on the outside and we do have a bit of a sea view, which is nice. Something to put our wet stuff on, a couple decent chairs, but I mean, it's not, it's all about the view. It's not about what you sit on, I suppose, out here. We've got a couple end tables, a set of drawers, and moving into the bathroom. We've got a closet area with a safe, a mirror. I'm not pointing out all the little issues, but now I am. So like, you know, the mirror is not completely in one piece, but that's fine. It is what it is. We've got our bathroom vanity and a shower, which is fine. It does what it's supposed to. And of course our commode. This is, I've been through quite a few uh, hotels. If you've been following our channel, you know that's true. And I have been sure that I am basically, I'm basically a uh, sommelier of hotels, if that's a thing. I'm a hotelier, and I can tell you right now that this one is a little earthy, and uh, it's got under notes of a mold, a little bit of mold, age, yes, and um, it's a 2.5, this was not a four star hotel room. This is a 2.5 star hotel room, which is maybe fine. What am I? I said maybe three if you're This is not a three star five. hotel room. No, it's not. Not Your price line. It is. Jeez. Price line lies. Yeah. This is a 2.5 star hotel room, which is usually totally fine and good enough for me. But when I stay at a four star resort, I feel slightly different. But yeah, this is our room. Totally fine. You're not meant to live in your room at all times. But this is what to expect when you come to the resort. Chris is fine. It's it's. I'll do, I'll do. Outside of your room, there's the actual outside, such as where I'm at right now. Uh, it's all right. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's no golf carts to take you from place to place. But they got shuffleboard and um, bocce that no one plays. Um, this is kind of in the inter area, but one thing they do have is Iwanas. And everybody in Iwana, Iwana. Um, these Iwanas are cool. They're climbing up in the trees, they're walking through the grass, they're eating the bananas people throw out. That's cool. Okay, Iguana. 
Oh, iguana banana. Look. Look at you. Here's iguana banana. Iguana banana. I'm eating a banana. Yes, that's right. Eat a banana. Eat a banana. Oh, I'm mad at you. You cannot eat the banana. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Rude. We gotta get a guy a banana. Yes. Give me that. I go give that guy a banana. All right, dude. I get you're scary, but you are mean, and this other one is nice. I'm trying to give him a banana. You are to give him a banana. All right, then I'm giving you a banana, even though you're mean. You want it? Yes, you want a banana. That's why you scared the other one off. Yes, eat a banana. You don't even want a banana. Yes, I know. You're big and scary. Maybe when we first started going to resorts, we were a little more easy to please because at first, Chris, all he wanted was a swim up bar. Get me a swim up bar, baby. As long as there's a swim up bar, I'll be a happy camper. And there is a swim up bar. Exciting. Except that if you look in the water of the pool, I mean, did somebody spill their milk? It's a little cloudy. It's a little cloudy. It's a lot of cloudy. Right now, that bar happens to be torn down. They are uh, rebuilding the roof of that bar. So, you know, if you came here today, you wouldn't get to any swim up bar. But in general, it, it checks the box for being a swim up bar. But they just need to be able to shock treat that thing daily. And the pools in general are uh, pretty swarmed with children. Now, I'll tell you, we're not members here, and there is a members pool, but we've checked it out, and there are still uh, children in there, and the member pool itself is not super fancy. So the pools here... They're not chill pools. They're, they're, they're active pools with screaming and yelling and people jumping around and splashing. So if you're looking for like a place to just like lay out and chill by, you know, there's, there's the beach. There is the beach. Okay, so hold on. What stars do we give the pool? Two. Oh, yeah. With a swim up bar, I'll give it a 2.5. Okay. And uh, what, what, how many stars do we give the outdoor experience? Uh, in between the hotel area here, that's, uh, I don't know, a good three. I mean, yeah, there's three. wildlife. There's a lot of birds. So, yes, really cool, cool like a tropical sounding, not sounding, looking and sounding birds. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a, a, maybe a 3.5. Agreed. So yes, another aspect of resorts tends to be some sort of entertainment they have in the evenings-ish, you know, everybody's had their dinner, everybody's had their uh, beach time, and what will you do in the evening? And uh, Prince is usually the leader of said entertainment. His name not, is Prince, not the not actual. Roger Nelson. He's, he's, he's passed away. I don't know if you know. Sorry if I'm the first yeah. one to tell you, I apologize. Uh, another every man. While, every once in a while, Crazy's out there with him. Yeah, somebody else named Crazy apparently also works there. Anyway, how do you feel about Chris? How do you feel about our entertainment? Um, a lot of it seemed like karaoke. Uh, I mean, I danced, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, you did. Uh, I had a, a good time overall, but I gotta say, it wasn't um, New York, New York. You know, it wasn't the level that cheap put together. Sure, sure. But I mean, if you're uh, if you're young and into you know the music young people were into about a couple of decades ago, uh, <laughs> they'll have something for you. Yeah, I mean it exists and it's fine to look at. And uh, there's they, a not a not a large. Um, let's say, group of people that are performing. It's kind of a smaller group of people that are performing, but That's they're performing it. and they're trying hard and it's cool. We saw, it's fine. what was the show we saw? The Variety Show? 
Was it the variety show? We saw the Brazil show too. But the we Brazil saw the show, carnival, but the it, carnival show was just uh, four people in costumes. Four people in costumes who walked by in a parade and then and they told left, you what and then left and never came back. Yeah, I didn't and, understand. And then they played music. Let's just say we didn't come for the entertainment and we didn't stay for the entertainment. But we, we there was really entertainment. In this place. I know we do, but listen. The I'm going to be honest about it. The one thing it has, it has in spades. It has in spades. Scuba Shop was amazing. Uh, it was uh, not super pricey, you know, like a, a snorkel boat trip is, you know, like, what was it, like 20 bucks? For the Hold on, have we starred the entertainment? How many stars for the entertainment? Entertainment, mm, we're trying. Let's give them three stars. No. No? Two and a half. Two and a half stars, all right, fine. Uh, then you said scuba shop. Scuba shop. Actually, I take that back. We can give them three stars. Why? That fire show was fire. But we didn't get to see it. I got to see it from far away. Okay, the fire show from far away looked really fun. That happens on like a Thursday, maybe a Wednesday. No, not a Wednesday, a Thursday. Um, okay, so scuba shop on the premises. Easy to get to, and uh, you can scuba and or snorkel and or go on boat trips. They are really knowledgeable. It's, e you know, just super convenient. So scuba shop, access, how many stars? Uh, scuba shop, I'm gonna give that three, three and a half. Three and a half, maybe even four. I'm giving four stars. Four stars. Four stars for the scuba shop. One thing about the scuba shop is, if you're here, you get a free hour of snorkel and fin rental every single day. Um, that's pretty cool. Like and that's that, about what you need, yeah, right? So yeah, after an hour, you're like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I want to go drink something. And I have a lot of salt in my mouth, and I need to go, like, rinse that out. Uh, my salty mouth wife. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is it calls itself a spa? The Sunscape Curacao, like, hold on. Resort, spa, Resort, casino. spa, and casino. But I haven't figured out where their spa services are yet. And I've been here a week and I'm about to leave. So. No massage. Where are their massages? There's definitely not like some amazing, like a, what the, was the place we went to last time? It had a. Zentropia. Zentropia, like just. There is a beach massages over at the Mood Beach. Yes. You can go purchase them elsewhere, but mm -hmm. just not here. Mood Beach. Yeah. So I don't know where the spa part is coming. We've also walked through the casino, not played in it yet. Maybe it'll happen today, but likely not. The, the casino, it looks depressing. It doesn't look like it has new fun games, like when you go on a carnival cruise or whatever, and no, everything looks fun. It reminds and, me of Kanaktai. Remember that place? Kanaktai? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That casino in Lake County, Clearly California. Right. If you understand Lake County, California, you understand this casino. Exactly. So this casino gets from me one and a half stars. Yeah, one and a half is uh, generous. It is um, generous. That said, I mean, maybe for it playing, has penny slots. I might go there with twenty bucks and pay penny slots. Maybe enjoy yourself. Penny maybe. slots. But the point of an all inclusive is the all inclusive part where you get all you can eat and all you can drink. So that you really don't have to go off the resort unless you so choose. Um, you, you just have that provided here for you. Uh, and so literally they have lived up to what they have promised. There has been food here. And drinks have been provided. Uh, sugar foot. But is it a four star worthy food and drink? The drink experience is just sugar waters. Um, I'm sure there's some alcohol in them. The Are you sure? Have you received any sort of uh, altered state based on drinks you've had from this resort? No. No, but I'm not drinking beer. Yeah, that's the only way you can guarantee you're getting any alcohols if you drink beer. So if you drink beer, you're totally fine. If that if that's all you like, look, there's definitely there's definitely alcohol in there, but it, like the rum has got to be watered down. Like I got a drink the other day that was like, and I had an extra shot of rum on top, and it's mostly made of rum, and I'm like, I can't taste alcohol in it. So 
there's that. But the most important thing is not the drinks. Man can live without drink alone, but he needs some food. And the food, man. It's the worst I've ever had. Take a look at this. Ever? Take a look at this buffet. Oh god. Do we want to do that? Yeah, That's so bad. It's just so bad. The food is damn near inedible. We have spent lots of money leaving here to eat all of our meals elsewhere. Which also brings up the point, it's worth it for a rental car here. You're gonna spend uh, $20 each way uh, to and from uh, downtown Willemstead to get to some of the other restaurants. Maybe you are just down to walk to the mall next door. Uh, there's like this um, Mood uh, Beach uh, cool place. Um, and there's good food there. We ate there. It was good. Yeah. Um, it's been, well, it's sort of expensive, but it was fine. Yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't, it wasn't Healdsburg expensive. Right. Um, but I, I would say that if you're going to rent a car that's going to be around 40 bucks a day and you don't have to worry about uh, getting back and forth there, it's worth it. The food off, off, off the resort is much, much better. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, y y okay, we're going to have to star rate this. Four star resort. What's the food? One. I. Can we give it half? If I'll, I'll, I might give it a one and a half, because oh, like. Because you can eat it. No, because like sometimes there were fries that I could put salt on. I yeah, French fries were fine. The French fries have been fine. If you want to just eat French fries, you're good here. Yeah, I. Uh, we ate on the beach for ambiance. I'll give it a half a star for ambiance because we ate on the beach and the ambiance was beautiful. Um, but the food here has been embarrassing. I would be embarrassed if I Eight. cooked here, if I owned this place, if I recommended this place. You would not be this embarrassed place. if you owned this place. You'd yes. Be, you'd be loving life. No, not with the food. No, I'm like, embarrassed for them. You're like, dude, I own a resort in Curacao. Mm, Who can ask I wanted, anything? No, I want it to be the, be best, Chris. Oh, yeah, sorry, Melania. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, the food. The food is the worst part of this entire resort. Now, I like to save the best for last. So we're gonna talk about the best part of this resort. I think I need a change for this part, though. Slight change of wardrobe, because this might just be the best part of the entire resort. Yeah, the beach here is amazing. The water is crystal clear. It is teeming with life. Like it is turquoise upon a different shade of blue, upon a different shade of blue. Mm -hmm. It's everything that you imagined when you thought of Curacao. They have a rock wall just uh, about uh, 40 meters out that is its own reef. I mean, some of the life that's in there is just like, like mind boggling. And you can, you can snorkel on the inside of the reef. You can do it on the outside, although that is for some, uh, say, more advanced snorkelers. I just had uh, a rough time of it a second ago. But, uh, I, I rescued I had, her. He rescued me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's perfect sand. It's a little rocky on some parts, but there are also perfect, beautiful parts that are perfectly sandy walking in. Mm -hmm. This beach is... How many stars would this beach get, Chris? Six. Oh, okay, out of five stars, this beach gets six stars. Yeah, so six you stars. understand why this is a four-star resort because it's super confusing. This is a six-star beach. Six-star beach, 1.5-star food, 2.5-star you know, pool. Yeah. Six-star beach. Two and a half-star room. Like, but this beach yeah. is everything. Yes. So you really have to make your own decision as far as are you coming here? For the food, are you coming here for this amazing, fantastic beach? Oh, -ee. oh, <laughs> this is Sunscape Curacao Resort Spa and Casino. I haven't Come. exactly figured out the spa part yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come for the beach, everything else exists. Come for the beach, stay for the beach. Airlines have effed us 
over for the millionth time.